everybody understand this analogy and never forget it until you die. A lot of people don't learn because they're stupid. And I know that you guys don't like me when I say that to you, but they're stupid. And I want to explain what I mean. If I walked up to you right now and I slapped you across the face, you'd be like, dude, what the hell, man? The next time I walked up to you, would you be thinking about me slapping you across the face? Yeah, and you'd be ready, am I right? So if I did this, you probably wouldn't sit there anymore and let me slap you, would you? No. Why the f do you let people keep hitting you if the price is too high, but yet you do nothing about it and you don't learn to dominate? You don't learn to handle it like the back of your hand. Listen to me. If you know something's coming, if you ride a Harley Davidson motorcycle and you go into a pothole, you are going to wreck more than likely. You will go off the road. The next time you see a pothole, and by the way, the next time you're driving, you're looking for potholes. You're like, dude, in defensive driving and that's the problem is that a lot of people they're stupid and listen to me like, like my goal is to be direct with you and to say don't be stupid whatever you whatever those top three objections you guys wrote down right now everybody at the top of their paper should have the top three objections they get right now in their company and when we get off this call you are going to study those three objections the next 48 hours you are going to have those top three objections memorized and never, ever, ever again for the rest of your life are you gonna struggle with those three again. And if I can get those three off your heart, then I'm gonna go to the next three. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And then I'm gonna go to the next three. And we're slowly gonna get through every freaking one of these, okay? And then guess what happens? You guys take over the damn world. And where you are right now is where everyone else is in the world. So if you wanna get ahead, guys, you speak for a living. That's what you do. Okay, so listen to me. So number one, I appreciate it, but I think the price is too high. Listen to me, guys. What do closers do? Everybody understand this. Everybody, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Everybody, please understand this. Sometimes you have to understand a little bit more information before you can go into something. How many times have you sat there, and now listen to me, and somebody says, hey, I think the price is too high. And then the salesman starts going, oh, no, 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 and you're like, dude, you didn't even ask him why he thought it was too high. Like, don't you think if we said, hey, I totally understand, Mr. Customer, let me ask you a question. When you say the price is too high, would you mind being a little more specific why you think the price is too high? Now, he's got to tell me. And when he opens his mouth, will he not tell me so now I'm prepared on how to handle it? Yes or no? Closers ask questions before they go into closing so that they completely understand, listen to me, they completely understand how to overcome the objection. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.